Um, on this trip, I was unable to see the tunnels myself in person uh, because at nighttime, evidently, uh, the Israelis use the uh, F-16s, or as they're called here, the f uh to bomb the tunnels uh, because they do not want uh, the Gazan people uh, to have the supplies they need to live. As the Israelis said, they're putting uh, Gazans on a diet, which means uh, no food, no supplies, no clothing, uh, nothing. Uh, but the uh, Gazans are already on a diet. Uh, they do not need to uh, lose any more weight. Han Yunus, Sa. We're still in Han Yunus. We just passed through the center of Han Yunus. And now, uh, feels like we're headed towards the sea. Then, when we, then we'll move along the coast, uh, all the way up to Gaza City. Like I said, the, they have been on enough of a diet for uh, long enough. And the Israelis would have them without clothing, without food, without medicine, everything. But the tunnels that we just visited, well, the tunnels that our supplies just came through are not Hamas tunnels. Uh, they're, they're businessmen tunnels that cost upwards of $100,000 uh, a piece to build. And then, of course, every time they get destroyed, uh, all kinds of additional cost to build them. But the Hamas tunnels are the places where there is concrete. There's no concrete in Gaza, except for the little bit that Hamas has. And the Ma Hamas has reinforced tunnels uh, far below the earth that are uh, relatively safe from the uh, Israeli bombing. Uh, the only people that are hurt when the tunnels are bombed are the businessmen and a lot of times the kids that dig the tunnels and lose sand. They send these bombs deep, deep in the earth. They create vibrations and then the tunnels collapse and so we're forever hearing about uh, collapsed tunnels and people either killed or hurt in them and the tunnels go down something like like uh, like 35 yards into the earth uh, and then on into Egypt uh, popping up like rabbit holes there uh, the Egyptians many of them support uh, the tunnels and uh, because they love Palestine and many of them support the tunnels because they make a lot of money. So then everything in this already impoverished land becomes a hell of a lot more expensive. Uh, for example, my friend that sells chairs used to be able to sell the chairs for 15 shekels. Now the price of the chairs are like 75 shekels because they have to be uh, 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 smuggled, smuggled all over the place. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, smuggled into Jordan and then smuggled into uh, Egypt and then smuggled through the tunnels. And every time they uh, pass hands, uh, somebody makes more and more money off them. And the people that pay are the Gazans. Uh, Hamas has plenty of money. They get their money from Iran and Syria. Uh, but the people in Gaza, uh, there, there's no work here. There's something like 80% unemployment um, and even the Fata people that are here that still get checks from uh, from Ramallah uh, have not been paid in a long time and I, I think today some shipments came through of money Israel allowed the money to come through so many of the people are paid but if you have no work and no money and then the basic necessities of life cost so much because they're all black market that it makes it extremely difficult on all except for the very rich. But Gaza will live. If they're without one sort of thing, they will make do with another sort of thing. If they're out of gas, that Israel does not even allow in gas for cooking. So all the gas is smuggled in. So. Uh, for the poor and those that are out of gas, then okay, then they will go cook in their yard. Uh, but they cannot be defeated. Yes! Are you happy traveling? I am very happy to travel. It's, it's good. Thank you very much for bringing me. Shukran! Uh, that's my... Sa. Uh, so now I go back to the house of Abu Des, uh, wonderful man that's taught me much about the truth of what's happening here. A very peaceful man. Uh, and 
my driver checks in because I'm in the back of this van with an open door and he wants to make sure that I'm warm and happy and comfortable. And if I wasn't, uh, he would come back and sit here and I would sit in the front. Uh, thus is uh, Arab hospitality. Uh, they will do without to make sure that their guest has uh, anything they want. So, on back to Gaza City and uh, check in with you later. So this is our black market contraband that we pe many people just risk their lives for. So it's dark, so it's hard to see a lot of this stuff, but here's our load from Rafa. It just came through the tunnels from Egypt. All cloth. Purple cloth, orange cloth, white cloth, all of them. They're opening up right in front of me. I know it's in them. This cloth is in them. And Israelis say no cloth to uh, Palestine, but Palestinians really aren't big on running around naked, so uh, they risk their lives to uh, go through the tunnels, uh, have cloth brought in from Egypt. I'm sure it's much more costly than it should be, but now we're in a shop here in uh, Gaza City where uh, the clothing will be uh, manufactured into shirts. Uh, as you can see behind me, it's a uh, sh shirts and coats and uh, pants and all sorts of, all manner of clothing will be manufactured from this cloth. So all types of colors, all types of cloth. And this this is how it's this is how it's done here in Gaza. They don't let people bring in uh, what they need. Well, they'll go get it. But uh, Gaza won't die. Gaza uh, doesn't want to go hungry. And Gaza sure as hell doesn't want to run around naked. Uh, so many people risk their lives uh, to get this cloth here. I mean, this cloth, God only knows where it was smuggled from and smuggled uh, past probably by Bedouin, past the uh, uh, Egyptian checkpoints, uh, past all manner of security, and then to the tunnels. Uh, uh, into Rafa, and we just went down and picked him up and came back to Gaza. Uh, many other nations, this would be a simple task. You go to the shop, you buy some cloth, uh, you come home. Uh, here, you have to risk your life. Many people have to risk their lives. Uh, security services are involved on both sides. Uh, many people make money as this is a black market operation. And uh, all just so uh, the Palestinian people can live. They have cloth, they have what they need. Uh, so we made it back uh, successfully, safely. Uh, I was not able to see the tunnels as I would have liked because they uh, uh, at night time is unadvisable to go to the tunnels because that's when the F-16 strike. Uh, hopefully uh, I'll get a chance, but if not, that's okay. But nonetheless, uh, this is how it's done in Palestine. Uh, Gaza uh, will not die. Thank you.